Well, hello everybody, and uh, yeah, we are here Pro Automation UI. Uh, this is the framework uh, that we have developed uh, for automation. It has all uh, the basic uh, ingredients for testing, for running a test, uh, and generating extent reports, very beautiful reports. Uh, it has source folder, and it also has a test app uh, where you can run your own tests. So yeah, we had a similar video for uh, Mac, uh, and uh, I remember I made a note there like uh, we'll be back with the video with uh, configuring the same thing on Windows. So here is it. The project is on Git, and I'll share this uh, uh, links and all in the comment section. So first thing you will need is a Git bash for Windows. Yeah, it will take you to this site. You can go to this, get downloads, get a CM, and you can download this uh, that EXE from here. And actually, I tried downloading it earlier, and I already have installed it. It's just a simple wizard which will uh, complete. And uh, once the wizard is done, uh, you'll basically get uh, these two options when you right click and get bash here and get GUI here. So what I'll do, I'll just create a folder on the desktop, <coughs> new folder, and I'll say it's a UI project, any name, doesn't really matter. So it's kind of workspace and it's empty right now. I just right click and uh, open git bash here. So yeah, git bash is here. Now what next I have to do is uh, I just have to run this clone command. It's very simple, git clone and uh, you'll need this URL. So I'll copy this URL and I'll go back to this uh, window, shift insert, enter. And it will start automate, um, cloning the <coughs> pro automation UI project. Okay. I think we should wait for it. Okay, 11%. 15, 16. Come on. It's taking a little longer than usual. It's a very small project. Um, but it has a very good assertion things. Uh, we'll see this once we download this, uh, we, once we clone it. Uh, I'll create a project out of it and we'll, we'll have a brief uh, intro of uh, what it can do okay oh that's slow okay um, let it download 78 84 almost there So this was the command get clone. Uh, okay, it's checking out files now. Uh, almost done, and we are done. Yep. So you can see in this UI project now, Pro Automation UI is here, and we have got all entire structure here. It's a Maven project, so the POM is here. All the dependencies are already here, so you don't have to worry uh, about uh, the framework thing. Um, and uh, yeah, you need you'll need a ID. Uh, you can either use Eclipse or IntelliJ. Uh, I'm using IntelliJ for uh, demo purposes. And if you want to download it, you can go to the official site again uh, of IntelliJ. That's uh, IntelliJ for Windows. Download IntelliJ from JetBrains. I think this is the site. No, 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 not this one. I think we have to type uh, download IntelliJ, install and set up. Download IntelliJ for Windows. It's 
install and set up and you can try this one. Oops, wrong again. I think the first one is correct. Yeah, this is uh, the official site for IntelliJ and uh, you can you can see it's already selected Windows. You can download it from here and uh, run through the wizard. That's the simple thing. You just have to go through the go to the official site and uh, download it. So I already have IntelliJ uh, installed up and running on my machine. So uh, what I'll do, I'll create a new project. I'll go to File. I'll go to New and I'll say click project from existing sources and our project was on desktop so I'll go to desktop and the project name was UI project and pro automation UI I'll open this it's a maven project so make sure you've clicked on maven next next looking for available profiles next next Make sure you have selected the latest uh, whatever SDK and the JDK you have mentioned uh, in the path environment variable in Java Home. And uh, click on next, finish. Idea exist, uh, continue with and continue on, that's fine. So it will create a new project uh, from UI projects. It will take some time for resolving Maven dependencies whatever we have in POM, uh, all those things will resolve, it will take some time, yep, so it's done. So we have the complete project here, this is the testing application, okay, we can try open this, uh, we can directly go to the locations, so in explorer, click on this uh, this is the registration form and uh, yep it's uh, quite cool for testing uh, even negative scenarios could be tested you can log into the system uh, for now there is no validation check so you can directly go to the login and it will take you to a page application like this where uh, other um, UI based uh, testing like uh, web tables and all in the coming videos we'll definitely uh, cover those things like what all operations you can do on web table or radio button or check boxes all those things um, there will be uh, definitely a lot of uh, informative videos so yep do subscribe and uh, yep share it share it with your friends okay so we have this project here and uh, it's up and running uh, there's a framework thing uh, all the feature thing user management uh, so there's a structure you can see there's a structure page objects uh, are stored in a place so there's a there will be a video for POM as well page object model and uh, utilities have uh, common utilities like assertion classes uh, all those assertion classes this abstract class we have written so that uh, it's not abstract it's kind of uh, using the same assertion uh, of test ng and uh, making a, it a more smarter way to generate a better report so there's a star driver factory and all those things are also here so we'll discuss about these things in details but uh, for now you can just run your test there's a one test here uh, under scripts um, there's a user registration so <clears throat> there's two tests here one is for uh, registration it provides all the information on the UI and another one is for field validation uh, basically a negative test it's test whether if you don't provide uh, minimum character or something then it should give an error so for demo purpose I'll just for the record I'll execute this um, okay Okay, so no error till now. Thank God. Ok, 
okay so it has opened the browser and it will open the application uh, okay and it will provide all the details in it and submit so after submit uh, it will do a validation uh, that you are registered now this message it is validating and uh, then the second test uh, uh, with a negative scenario where uh, this password should be a minimum so both the tests have passed and the reports are generated in under this folder uh, this one is generated just now you can just open it uh, go to explorer and uh, open it oops that is funny it's not responding that is windows thing that's why i like mac <laughs> anyway yeah it, it has opened so yeah this is this was the test we ran and it has captured very beautifully whatever steps we have performed and what assertions we were doing what was the expected and actual also it took a screenshot of that moment like you were registered now so and the second test was a field validation where it set the password less than six character and we verified this so that message is also here so yep uh, i think uh, that's it for this demo um, and uh, yeah uh, all the steps uh, I'll, I'll provide the git uh, this git url and all those things in my comment section so do download this do uh, set up the configuration things and all and uh, if you have anything please uh, put, um, reach back to me uh, if you like this video please subscribe and uh, do like to share it with your friends thank you very much